These examples will explain what happens inside the CRO by applying different signals on the Y input. Remember that we said before that the signals to be studied are applied to the two openings of the Y input, which applies the studied voltage to the Y plates. Example number one. Here we will remove any inputs from the Y input, and the time base is off. This will show a spot in the center of the screen. This is because the beam of electrons is not deflected anywhere, so it falls on the center of the screen. Example number 2. In this example, no signal or voltage is applied to the Y input, but the time base is now turned on. This will change the spot to a horizontal line. This is because on turning the time base on, a voltage from inside the CRO is applied to the X plates. This voltage is named the sawtooth voltage. It causes the deflection of the beam left and right across the screen with high frequency. What you see now is a very slow motion. The reel is much faster than this, and what you see now happens 50 times in one second. This appears on the screen as a horizontal line. In the third example, the time base button is turned off. The horizontal line is now again a spot in the center of the screen. But now a DC voltage is applied to the Y input by connecting a 3 volt DC battery. Because of this connection, the beam of electrons will be deflected upwards. This is because the upper plate is now positive and the lower plate is now negative. If the Y gain button is adjusted to 1 volt per each square, the spot will appear on the third square on the screen because our battery is 3 volts. Example number 4. Now we will reverse the connection of the battery. What will happen now is that the Y plates will also reverse their potential. The top Y plate which was positive is now negative and the bottom Y plate which was negative is now positive. This will cause the deflection of the beam of electrons to be downwards instead of upwards. So the bright spot will be shown on the third square on the screen, but this time below the center of the screen. Remember that the time base which controls the X plates is still off. Example number 5. Now we will replace the 3 volt DC battery with a 5 volt DC battery. This will also make an upward deflection. But this time the deflection is greater because of greater potential difference of the battery. If the Y game button is still adjusted to 1 volt for each square, the spot this time appears on the fifth square, not the third square as previous. Similarly, if the polarity is reversed, the deflection will be downwards, not up. Example number 6. In this example, the 5 volts battery is still connected to the Y input. But now the time base which controls the X plates is now on. This will change the spot on the square number 5 to a horizontal line because now we have an upwards deflection by the Y plates. In the same time, the X plates causes the continuous left and right deflection across the screen. This causes the horizontal line. Example number 7. If we reverse the connection of the battery, the line will now be at the bottom below the center of the screen. Changing the scale to a smaller value will cause longer line. Example number 8 is totally different. The X plates are now off by turning the time base button off. A 5 volt AC supply is now connected to the Y input. Remember that AC is a voltage or current that continuously and rapidly reverses. This causes the beam of electrons to deflect up and down rapidly due to the rapid reversing of the voltage and hence the charge on the plates. As the time base is off, so no horizontal deflection by the X plates. The signal will be seen on the screen as a long vertical straight line in the center of the screen. The value of the voltage is measured by the amplitude which is from the center point of the screen to the top of the signal. Here the screen shows it is 5 volts. Now the last example, number 9. 
the AC voltage is still applied on the Y place through the Y input. But now, we will turn on the time base button. This will change the signal to take the sine wave shape. This is because the up and down deflection caused by the AC on the Y plates is accompanied by the horizontal deflection across the screen caused by the X plates. This will be seen on the screen as a wave.